All right, ready to start this open mic? Yeah! Hell yeah! So Ferris, real quick, because you missed the joke, because it was really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you ever go up to a millionaire baby and go, Gucci Gucci Prada? <laughs> no? <laughs> no. <laughs> stupid! All right, your first comment, come into the mic, guys. Give it up for Vance Dykes, everyone. Clap it up for him. All right, how's everybody doing? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm Bill Clinton, your gorgeous, handsome, and sexy U.S. president. Please. And we're going to tell you some more funny stories. I'll go first. Here's another funny story. I'm Mary Hillary Clinton. That's it. <laughs> See, and they didn't laugh. <laughs> All right, Vance, it's your turn, and you don't get a choice. You have to tell the story about the town you went to that Jewish synagogue. I went to a Jewish synagogue in Maitland, Florida many years ago when I was in college. And after temple service, we went to the fellowship hall where we had dessert. And I was in line for chocolate cake because if there's anything in the world that I love just as much as I love a cheeseburger, it's anything that's made with chocolate. You should see the, you should see the inside of this guy's truck. It looks like a, a graveyard for Burger King receipts. Cut it out. All right, all right, I'm just kidding. There are some cut seats in there, too. Will you knock it off? <laughs> As I was saying, I love anything with chocolate, guys. Chocolate cake, chocolate cookies, chocolate candy bars. Hey, if a pair of pants are made out of chocolate, I'll definitely eat a pair of those. <laughs> None of yours. <laughs> I got the third chocolate panties. What? You know, the bishop of my diocese could be watching this video right now as we speak. And if he watches this video, and if he says I'm not qualified to be a priest because of this quote-unquote inappropriate performance, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to have you impeached. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Like, no one's ever tried that before. By the way, I thought you were an Episcopalian. I am an Episcopalian. Well, why are you wearing a shirt that says Catholics for Trump? Because I couldn't find any shirts on eBay that said Episcopalians for Trump. This was all that I could find, so... It's close enough. What other? Can I please get back to my story? Sure, I don't care. I don't care about you, and I sure as heck don't care about Catholics. Anyway, so there was this guy behind me, and this is how tall I am. The guy taps me on my back because he couldn't reach my shoulder. I'm serious, guys. I'm a giant. Fee, fa, fo, fun. I smell two double authors of cheese. Will you shut up? <laughs> this comes from the guy who believes in freedom of speech. I think he's about ready to embrace cancel culture. No, no, no. I will never embrace cancel culture. No, I say down with cancel culture. And the people who invented it, I think they should go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. <laughs> All right, so I turned to this guy, and he said, I had no idea that Jews were as tall as you. And I said, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not Jewish. And then he turned to his buddy, and he said, I told you Goliath wasn't a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Only some of you laugh. You know, I don't care if you guys laugh at that or not. That is the most clever religious joke in the history of mankind. And I'm taking credit for inventing it. Because I did invent it. I mean, seriously, you guys better read a Bible and find out why that joke is so clever and funny. This is how a Christian comedian evangelizes, and personally, I think it's stupid. And pathetic. You're such a jerk. I just want to go on record in saying that we are not anti-Semitic. We love Jewish people. I love Jewish people. In fact, I love Jewish women. All right, stop right there. Stop right there. You don't need to go any further than that. My favorite kind of Jewish woman, don't say it, is a naked Jewish woman. All right, that's it. All right, that's it. You're done. No, 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 wait a minute. I didn't get a Hoochie Mama's phone number yet. You're not getting a Hoochie Mama's phone number. Hey, screw you, Republican. No, screw you, Democrat. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Well, you little, you good for nothing, mega piece of crap. All right, that's it. You're impeached. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed American history. The 42nd president of the United States has just been impeached. Good night, everybody. No, 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 you're done. Oh.
Oh, yeah. Give it up for the president, everyone. Give it up for him. Thank you for your support. Thank you so much for your support. I told you you're done. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. You guns are nothing deplorable. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Shut up. Four more Jews. Anyway, next.